Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Juan Pablo, leader of the new generation, and you're tuned into the new generation XTV. Subscribe to the channel and make sure you smash that like button. So in this video, this video is going to be my Black History Month video. And that means I'm going to be breaking down just what it is to be black historically in the present and what the future is going to look like all right so it's black history month right what it means to be black like being black is really important because it's really how you're treated in the wider society as a whole like this thing is a race thing, right? There's a race thing going on. I don't know if you know it. You might not even know exactly how it works, but there are different races. And based on these races, culturally, like we operate a certain way. And for the black person, it means something different from a Caucasian person or an Asian person, you know? So, like I said, this video is really gonna be about being black and what it means in society. Okay, so historically, black people, the main thing that we think about when we think about black people is slavery, right? And that is important, but what is also very important as well is that as black people, black people have done plenty of great stuff historically in the present and also it will happen in the future as well. Right? So historically wise, like I said, slavery was the main thing. And what that came down to is that that was just how different races would treat black people, you know? So, currently at the present time that we're in, like, it's based off what happened historically. So, historically, what we have is slavery. So today, that's still connected to now. Meaning, meaning that the, the mentality and certain things, they get passed down through the generations. So we still have remnants of whatever took place in the past. And that affects our, our, our current present as we're living in it, as it will affect the future as well. So, So there's some things that I want black people to realize, right? If you're black, some people don't know they're black. Other people don't want to be black. But if you're black, it's really just how you're treated in society. That's really what that comes down to. And as a black person, there are multiple other races out there. And from my experience with society and the wider public as a whole, they, their attitude towards black people or African Americans, Africans, whatever you want to call it, is one of disrespect. What I'm realizing now from my experiences on a day to day is that there's not a situation where some other race doesn't try to disrespect a black person on site. What I mean is, like, I've noticed the craziest things. Like, you as a black person could be walking down the street. Another person of another race that's 10 blocks away, they see you and they do something disrespectful. And this is continuous. Like, it's all day long. It's everybody. It's men, women, children babies i've literally seen babies do it so as a black person you have to be woke out here 
you definitely have to be awoken, awaken, and seeing exactly what life is like. And this shouldn't be any surprise to you based on the history of where we're coming from, right? So the fact that it comes down to is as a black person, like individually, right? An individual person of another race, they might not act this way, but culturally these other races, like when they see black people, their whole attitude towards them is disrespect, just everything bad. They, they, like, it's guaranteed they do something nasty when they see a black person. As a matter of fact, I'm actually gonna charge black people to tell them exactly what they do. I'm gonna give the first one for free though. This thing right here. People rubbing their nose at me. I don't care who you are, man. None of y'all rub your nose at me. Like, personally, I'm somebody, I don't play with people. It's not even my joke. Like, I'm different. When you see me, I do something disrespectful like that. I might do something about it. So people need to cut that in general. And like I said, I don't care if you're white, Asian, black, or whatever. None of y'all be rubbing your nose at me. And the other thing, like I said, even though these other races, every time they see black people, they do do something disrespectful. What I've noticed as well is that these same exact things, black people are doing them as well. Like, this is the worst part of it. Like, you pick the most racist thing that other people do, I see black people doing that shit. And me personally, like, anytime I come across something like that, I'm not somebody to play with. Like, I'll violate you. So, when you see me, do not rub your nose at me. None of that stuff. I don't play like that. Going back to it, like I said, I gave you the first one for free. It's this right here. This is like one of the worst things they could do. This is basically doing this right here. I'm calling you the N-word without actually saying the N-word. Like, I'm doing the worst thing ever to you. Anytime you see somebody doing this right here, and when it comes to me, I'm telling people, don't play with me. And for you black people out there that's doing that stuff, I swear to God, I have to hold myself back. Because these penitentiaries are already filled with blacks. So y'all better cut that stuff. Okay, so now that we cleared up the whole air, as to see where we're coming from historically and where we're at present, right? And the consensus that I came from, it's not even a consensus, it's just plain and obvious that other races of people shit on black people, no respect. Every time, every time I see it, like it's so crazy. Every time I see another race, see a black person, they do something like ultra disrespectful. Me personally, I'm not with it. I come at you anytime I see that stuff. I don't want nobody, nobody playing with me with that. For all you regular black people out there, if you want to know the type of stuff that other people do, other races do when they see you, I'll be charging for it on Patreon or something so I can make some money out of this right all right so now for a present where we're at right now as black people in general right now you as the community like we need more businesses right so i have i came up with the idea it's not a simple idea of stuff that already exists so you have couples like companies like Apple and Google, Pepsi. These are all world, worldwide brand names, which everybody knows, right? So as the black people, we need to have one of those for ourselves, right? We need to have a worldwide corporation with the strength and the notoriety of an Apple. 
So I would like all you guys to team up with me. Well, only the worthy ones. I don't want everybody around me. I don't want just anybody around me. You have to you have to be worthy to be in my space. So for if you want to team up, right? We could team up and build this company together. It needs to be a worldwide corporation. So where it could be a symbol of the black people because currently as we're sitting right now, like there is no respect for black people in society. Like it's unbelievable. Like it's a major conspiracy. Like the things that I'm seeing right now is crazy. And like I said, I do not take none of that disrespect from anybody. So I don't care if you're black, white, or Latino. Yo, y'all better cut that stuff. And back to the company. Black people, y'all need to, we need to be in together on this because like this world out here is not a game. Everything is getting more expensive and we need to own more companies where we could take care of each other. Otherwise, look at it. What are you going to be doing? What are we going to have to be doing? Because if it's other races that's running these corporations and they don't like black people. Like I said, on site, they disrespect black people. Like it's, it's not even a joke. It's on site every time. And there's a bunch of stuff that they do. And you're going to have to go to these other people as a black person. When they hate your guts, they hate your face. They hate everything about you, <laughs> you know? So we need to team up on this and we need to make this worldwide corporation happen. Otherwise, everybody could just do what they've been doing. Be on an individual level, which you have to be doing. Yes, you have to get your money individually, but you have to realize that these other groups, they're doing things as groups against black people. So y'all need to be start stepping up together. We need to be start functioning as a group and it's financial as well, right? Everybody wants money. Everybody's about getting that money and that's how we do it. We have to move as a team. And like I said, it needs to be a global corporation with notoriety and power. That's to set us up for the future. Like, they said about the future, right? Like, if you don't know history, then you'll repeat the past. Like I said, historically, it's known that black people are treated as, the, as shit. And it's still continuous today. So, if we want any type of future, we're going to have to come together financially in a major corporation a global corporation